Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thanks to God. Welcome to this uh, today's seed time at Harvest Broadcast. And so blessed and privileged to have this another opportunity to come and speak life to you. As we celebrate this Christmas season, we talked about during our messages to emphasize God with us, Emmanuel, God with us. And we were using the text of scripture as a foundation from Matthew chapter 1, verses 20. 2 through 23 and so we want to take a quick look at that as we make reference to this key scripture that i believe captures the essence of what the christmas season and christmas holiday is all about and so let's take a look at that portion of scripture again matthew chapter 1 we're going to take a look at verse 22 and 23, and we're reading from the New International Version uh, today. If you have it, give, give everybody a few more minutes to find it. If you want to read along with us, if not, you can make note of it. Here it is in verse 22 of Matthew 1. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for your living word that is being read and spoken into the ears of the hearers today. I thank you that this living word has manifested itself through the birth of your son, Jesus Christ. I thank you and I praise you for the fact that you are with us even now. You are with us through hard times, through good times, and in between times. And today we acknowledge your presence in our life, in our family, over our health and wealth. And we thank you and we praise and honor you today. In Jesus' name, amen. God with us. Somebody say that with me. God with us. Saints, this is very key for us. I, I, I was so impressed as the Holy Spirit ministered to me about this scripture. There's so many facets that's relevant to the symbolism that we see expressed during this time of year. Many places, many homes have what we call Christmas trees. Some people have stockings on the mantel or fireplaces. And under every Christmas tree and every stocking that hangs from a fireplace mantel, they are stocked with presents and gifts. I want us to focus on that aspect of presents that are given during this time. And we know that presents, we mean P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S, -E presents. Now I want you to think about that phrase in the contemporary sense of what most people have to celebrate this time of year. And I want you to keep in mind the key scripture that we looked at today and the key phrase and particularly about God with us. And it is his presence, not the presence that's wrapped and placed under a tree, but it is the presence of the Lord that changes everything in our lives. As I think about the presence of God, I think about Joseph. I think about Joseph when his brothers sold him off as a slave in Egypt. I think about the scripture that says, but God was present with Joseph. I think about when Joseph was sold as a slave by his brothers and he ended up as a slave in Potiphar's household. And the scripture reminds us again 
but God was with Joseph. If we continue to look at the life of Joseph and this key phrase, when he was placed in prison after being falsely accused, <coughs> excuse me, and the scriptures continue to tell us, and God was with Joseph. You'll see these accounts through the book of Genesis chapter 39. And I mention these today because this is the key that we need to hold on to about what this season represents. Just as God was with Joseph in the pit, in prison, and ultimately when Joseph got to the palace. I want us to be reminded that God is with us. He's with us when we go through good times. He's with us in the bad times. And he's with us in the in-between times. In fact, I want you to remind yourself that God is with us even now, just as the foundational scripture that we read announced. Again, it says in verse 23, the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Some translations say God is with us. I want you to say that with me right now. God with us. That means he's with us when we go through struggles. That means that God is with us when we go through victories. God is with us when we go through illness. God is with us when we're walking in good health. God is with us when we're suffering lack. And God is with us when we're experiencing prosperity. All times, in every season of life, God is with us. Somebody ought to celebrate that fact right now. Hallelujah. So saints of God, as we go through this season and remembering our loved ones and remembering our friends and celebrating the festivities with love, uh, co-workers and as we share and exchange gifts, present presents to our children, let us not forget the presence of the Lord that is given to us in this proclamation. For this is the reason that we all should be able to celebrate. Even if there are no presents under your tree, even if there are no friends and families to celebrate this season with, there is still a reason to celebrate it because of the presence of God, because as the scripture declares, God is with us. Hallelujah. Emmanuel, God with us. And I want that to be of the phrase and the thought that I leave with you for this season as we prepare to enter into what we call a new year. May the presence of God, just as he is with us today, just as he has been with us in the past, may his presence be with us into the future. For wherever the spirit of the Lord is, saints, there is liberty, and God wants us each to enjoy the liberty, the freedom, the peace, the freedom, the joy that comes from knowing him and being known of him. So again, saints, Emmanuel, let us celebrate the presence of God, for God is with us. Amen.